six, seven attack rounds taken the whole yeah, time. So I think, I think it was closer to like around seven ish. Um, and yeah, there that was a very exciting map uh, between those two teams. Um, you know, and <laughs> Pyrogen was just able to answer back after Colin, you know, would tie it up, and then Pyrogen just came back and answered. So Pyrogen's very good on this map. So I'd like to see if they can. Uh, Make something happen here, maybe start oh. not in the comeback, but Fraskin doesn't want that to happen. He takes a nice first shot there, 53 meters, and uh, yeah. it's looking pretty good for him right now. Avengers, that early armor loss that he had uh, been taken out, and Sparko is a very strong defender in addition to being a strong attacker. He's actually just going to try and stand directly on the capture point, though. He got it about 70% of the way done, so he needs to make his way back, stand on it for a little longer. Ooh. This is very risky, but he, he gets, gets it. it. Wow. 1-0 advantage for four kings. Wow, and that's what a way to start this uh, third map. I almost said the final map, but it may, it may very huh. well be the final map. But yeah, four kings coming out strong. They have the 2 0 advantage, and they're, you know, they're still not resting. They take the first attack round, so uh, good job for them. And uh, Sparko very quickly making his way up the left hand side. Of course, um, you know, four kings plays fairly defensive here. They rush out, they throw out their spam rockets, and they fall back pretty quickly to those very defensive positions, almost identical to what we saw Colwyn play. Yeah, and now Sparko here, he's going to try to get this guy over here on the mound, a little bit isolated, going to try to sprint over, take a shot here, and where did he go? He must be thinking the same thing. And maybe he's going to spawn it. Ooh, Beautiful. nice shot by Sparko right there onto Ezekiel. And now yeah. he's got eight seconds left before the poles open, and Sparko is going to try to get that shot. No, but he doesn't land it onto Fraskin. That was a shot he really should have probably made. But, uh, you know, he's still got some time. He's got 14 seconds left. Just now one by 30 centimeters. Um, and now he's got he's to gotta land one of these shots here. And he misses yet again, and Sparko gets taken out by Leavesu with the last two rockets. All right, so uh, already a nice early advantage for four kings. Uh, of course, we've seen in the past so many times that an initial attacking round is answered right back with another attack round after that. Ezekiel's very strong on Paladin. Can he step it up here on Spitfire, too? Yeah, and he's going to choose the left attack route. Yeah, this is pretty much the standard. Sometimes people go around the right, try to get that guy playing over at the fence, but this is pretty pretty typical here. And Ezekiel's going to have to see if they're going to be playing a guy up on the blazer pad to, you know, kind of dictate how he plays. And he checks it out, and no, no one's up there quite yet. Oh, but he almost gets hit by a couple of spam rockets right there. Yeah, but as it stands, he still retained all three of his armor points. Sparko shading towards the laser pad, and now all of a sudden Ezekiel is uh, a bit isolated. That was one of those un unintentional zoom-ins. He uh, didn't realize he was on the laser pad for a second, tried to jump up to get out of the way or get position on the defenders. Doesn't work out for him, though, and Ezekiel goes down 2-1, but still that critical 1-0 attack advantage for four kings. Yeah, that's right. Now Quaco has to try to even things up here. He's going to take a shot. Yes, but he doesn't land it. Those shots are hard to land and a bit random. Um, but here we go. Quaco is trying to trying to move up the left side a little bit. And you don't see too many people try to uh, stand here and try to take a shot. I mean, ooh, I, it looks like 4K is uh, playing pretty aggressive here. Um, while Quaco is kind of hanging out in the middle area, um, but he's going to decide to go around the left side and see if he can take a new angle on these defenders. Yeah, he had a very quick decision to go for a shot there on the left-hand side, but Ezekiel was was uh, running to the left and changing quite a bit uh, vertically by then, too. So it was a difficult shot to make. Quaco can't land it, but he does come back and eliminate Ezekiel afterwards, but uh, not after already losing two points of armor. Third one goes down 3-1 to one now in favor of Four Kings. Yeah, so Four Kings is holding on to their lead right now and they got leaves you up that and he's gonna try to extend the lead and you know i wonder if they're gonna take this 3-0 Ooh, missing that one by 31 centimeters he's kind of tripping off that rock a little bit and he's he was flying there for a second but uh he's going around the right side and i like how they they're uh, mixing up their attack pass a little bit so you know they're not getting too predictable here and we'll see yep sparko sitting on that laser pad like he loves to do uh, oh, and wow, great shot on Lisu yeah, to begin sorry. things. Oh, but then he gets picked off, and man, Sparko has just not had good luck on that uh, laser pad, just getting caught out twice now with 50-meter hits. Yeah, very true, and, and Lisu is in a pretty good position here. He's got the point to himself. Um, the defenders are going to have to move oh. up, and yes, he gets picked off right there as Haibu, and it's a one-on-one, -on -one, one armor left. Ooh, Leavesu almost hitting that right there, too. Two of them, one by nine centimeters, the other by 11, and it's just one defender versus one armor. He's going to try and assault the point, gets directly on top of it, but misses a shot on Quaco, and that gets him punished. Yep, and now let's see. It's going to be Haibu Las Vegas, Team TC. <laughs> <laughs> Here for Pyrogen, and uh, Pyrogen, you know, they haven't really been landing attacking rounds like they can. Um, and 
Nice movement here, though, by Hayabu, Las Vegas, DMTC. Um, uh, he's going to make his way up the left, use this little ramp to shoot some rockets, apparently. And uh, ooh, missing that one by 13 centimeters. Oh, and that one man. by five. Wow, Hayabu, so close, man. So close. Down to two armors now, though. Leaves you, uh, lands a nice long rocket onto Hayabu, Las Vegas. And uh, how many times can I say that? I was <laughs> just kidding. Uh, okay, yeah. here we go. Hayabu going towards the point. Ten seconds before it's open, but no, Fraskin lands two nice rockets. And we still have that attack round advantage now for our uh, Four Kings team. And we're back around to primary attackers again, so Fraskin is going to try and step up and repeat the performance he had to open this entire match. So going with a little bit of a wall jump off to the side, going for that super fast route that you sometimes see players do, and he is going to make his way around the back very quickly. Maybe have an opportunity yeah. to catch someone out in the open, but he misses the shot. Yeah, he did get that opportunity, and whenever you go that quickly, um, you know, you're generally going to have someone in the open. And nice shot there by Fraskin. Nice shot again onto Haibu right there. And Fraskin is looking to really cement this victory for Four Kings right now. He's got one guy over at the tree, which is Quaco. And now he's got plenty of time right now. So he picked off those two defenders very quickly and tries to actually shoot through the pole. That would have been an amazing shot. Um, but now Quaco is on to the point. The point's about to be open, so here we go. Oh, and uh, one point of armor remaining. Quaco really needed that. Oh, but it doesn't matter. He goes there down. Fraskin lands both of his attack rounds. It's a 5-2 advantage now, and Four Kings is in a commanding lead in this third map, already up 2-0 in maps. Yeah, wow. So Four Kings, man, they're really taking it to Pyrogen in the finals right now. And Sparko here, he's going on to the left side. He's got a pretty good run here as far as speed goes, but he does kind of lose a little bit right there at the end. Um, now, as you can see, those guys were trying to spam him, um, assuming that he was probably going to keep that speed up. But uh, Sparko here, he's going to try to maybe get a peek onto Fraskin, but it's not really looking like it's going to happen as he gets hit in the face by Leave Zoo. All right, so Sparko um, not really finding much success, jumps up on the laser pad. Oh, but as soon as he does, Fraskin comes right over the side with a great shot, and uh, now it's three defenders for one armor, only seven seconds until the point becomes capturable, and Sparko goes down. Yeah, ooh, this isn't looking too good. It is six to two in favor of Four Kings right now. If they win this map, they win the whole tournament. That would put them at second seed. So, you know, they're fighting for some, uh, you know, that seed is going to matter a lot in the tournament going to de determine who you play, you know, in all the rounds, obviously. And uh, here we go, Ezekiel, ooh, missing. Oh, wow, he's dodging those rockets and that laser pretty well. And he just tooted his horn because of it, I think. Huh. Um, and now Ezekiel, he's, he's kind of hanging out in the middle, which is not a, a normal attack route that we'll usually see. Ooh, but I kind of like that. If he would have uh, been able to jump up onto that bridge area, that would have been very nice. But uh, Ezekiel still has three armor, and he's just in the open. He gets hit once by Sparko right there. Oh. But he does take out Sparko <laughs> with a nice shot. Now Ezekiel, another shot onto Quaco. Four Kings is here for blood. Sparko has had the worst luck on that laser pad. Every single round he's been up there, he's gotten picked off. Ezekiel wins the attack round, and it's a 7-2 advantage now for Four Kings, who are dominating uh, in this next map. Yeah, I mean, this whole match, man, it's been all Four Kings. Quaco, you know, he's... <laughs> Not no one ever. Oh, the 360 Quaco. I think he's so excited, man. He's so happy to be going to Vegas. Um, four Kings, though, man. They are really dominating this match, and Quaco is gonna have to take this attack round, man. If, it, if it's not this round, you know, they're pretty much gonna lose. And ouch, he gets hit twice in the face right there. He's down to one armor. All right, so Quaco, he's uh, gonna try and come up the right hand side, but man, losing this will put them down 8 2 to begin things, and uh, that's an almost insurmountable lead. There it is. For the next seven rounds, we are on uh, <laughs> tournament point for Four Kings. Tournament point, very well said. Now, leaves you. He has the chance to close it off here, but seriously, the pressure is not on at all. You know, eight to two. It might be the biggest lead we've seen all day. I'm not sure about that, but it's it's pretty much up there. Um, leaves you here, going up the middle. And we don't want to see a, a say, of course, that uh, Pyrogenic giving up or anything like that. But clearly, they've already made the tournament. This isn't as serious as the last round was. So they can have a little fun and try some kind of crazy things. Yeah, very true. And Leavesu here is going to go around the right side. Still got two armor left. 18 seconds. He's got some time. He needs to land a shot. He misses that one in the open, though. So it's not looking too good for him. He misses another one in the open. And he does get taken out by Quaco right there. All right. And it comes down to this. Are we going to say, and Haibu says <laughs> GG. Haibu, <laughs> free GG. Sparko says, well played. Oh, that's awesome. Haibu, come on, dude. You can do it. Haibu, Las Vegas, Tim to see. You're very hardcore final. I just have to give him a quick little uh, <laughs> a, a smiley face there. But um, 
All right, so here we go. Sparkle says he's going to turn on his screen now. Uh, I turn off my screen. Hi, Boo Las Vegas. All down to him. Tournament life on the mind. Oh, he lands oh, the shot. Big the shot crowd by goes Ibu. wild. Oh, oh he gets the second one. one. Taking out Fraskin. He might actually win this round. Hi, Boo, don't just blow it here, man. <laughs> You got 30 seconds. He's standing still now. People are laughing. What is going on here? He lands oh, the he shot. Oh, he gets it. <laughs> then Haibu <laughs> Las Vegas, the dominator. Dropping the noob right there. <laughs> and it's all on good fun, guys. These guys are all friends. They, they aren't really talking smack. Um, now Fraskin has a chance to win it for four kings. Now, what if Pyrogen actually came back and won this whole match? Oh, my God. And we cast for like another hour and a half after <laughs> this. So <laughs> let's see here. Uh, all right. So Fraskin now trying to just pick off anyone off to the side. Uh, Pyrogen obviously in try hard mode now uh, yes. because they landed that attack round. They have to come back in style. Yeah, now they have to come back and win the whole match or else it's just all for nothing. Fraskin. Sparko! Sparko is not having a good time over on that laser pad at all. Fraskin's able to pick him off with ease. And now uh, Hybu Las Vegas almost lands a couple of those rockets right there, but Fraskin still has three armor. The point's about to be open. He takes out Hybu, and this could be it right here. Quaco, the last one. There's the GG well played again. They're given no chance to Quaco. Quaco, though, man, seven seconds remaining. Two points of armor. Can Frask into it? He can't land the shot. He's trying to get on the point. There it but is. Does. Four Kings has won the tournament. They are moving to Las Vegas with Pyrogen, but they get the better seed. GG's, ladies and gentlemen. And our first uh, EU qualifier for IPL 6 comes to a close. Yeah, man, that was epic. Those first two matches of the day went the distance, and then this last and final one. It was a quick 3-0 by Four Kings, so yep. congratulations to them. Um, good job to Pyrogen as well, and obviously good job to the other semifinalists. It was been, it's been great games all day, really. Oh, definitely. And I actually, with Four Kings and Pyrogen, the two teams that came out of the EU qualifier, yeah. like I'm, I'm pumped for the next one because yeah. you've still got Colwyn, you've still got Fnatic, both Dignitas squads, Millennium. Like they're still yeah, all in. It's insane, man. And you know, a few of those teams aren't going to make it. There's only two more qualifiers left for Europe, yeah. so it's going to be, there's going to be some intense matches to say the least. All right, guys. Well, that is it for us today. I hope you enjoyed the marathon four-hour shoot mania cast. I'm Kevin Naki, joined alongside by Ryan Mitchell. He is at Sickness on Twitter. That's S-Y-C-K-N-E-S-S-S-S. -S 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 -S. Uh, I'm sure it'll pop up here at some point. I'm at Kevin Naki, but I've got it memorized, so I'll be able yes. to help you out. So. Thank you, my friend. Uh, all right, guys, that's it for us today, and obviously have a great weekend. We'll see you again on Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific for the next North American Qualifier. Have a great weekend.